Now we want to get to the video that has been sparking debate over the use of police force in certain situations. Now the video shows a police officer intentionally hitting a suspect with his car. Diane Cho is at our live desk. She has more on this. Diane, everybody's talking about this. Well, Allison, we have to warn you that the video is graphic in nature. It was recorded from an officer's dash camera in his patrol car. And what you see is the first officer following the suspect slowly. Then moments later, another officer intentionally uses his car to run into the suspect, throwing him into the air before he slammed into a retaining wall. Police say this was the end of a crime spree. 36-year-old Mario Valencia went on earlier that day. Authorities say he robbed a convenience store, set a church on fire, then entered a home and stole a car before they say he went into a Walmart and stole a rifle and ammunition. At one point in the video, you see Valencia pointing the rifle at himself. Police say he fired a shot into the air. They say he also pointed the rifle at an officer, then walked away before the officer hit him with his patrol car. You can step back and second guess you. You waited another 10 seconds or another five seconds or another 14 seconds. The fact of the matter remains, uh, the officer had a very difficult, tough, tough decision to make, and he made that tough decision. And um, if, we, if he doesn't make that decision, we don't know that if he lets him go for another 10 seconds, he doesn't take somebody out in the parking lot. And then we're answering some completely different questions. Why didn't you act sooner? Now, Valencia survived the impact. His attorney says that based on what was seen in that video it was a case of excessive use of force. The officer was placed on routine administrative leave, but is now back on duty after the prosecutor's office cleared him of any wrongdoing. In the newsroom, Diane Cho, ABC 7 News.